welcome back this week to The Naked Doctor. I'm Dr. Tammy. I'm Lauren. And we have a great show for you this week. Part two of Thyroid. Thyroid. Yeah, we had a great show last week, and then we had so much spillover and stuff that I wanted to talk and talk and talk and talk and talk about. There definitely wasn't enough time for in one show to cover the thyroid. Yeah. So we're going to have a really long blackboard segment this week because we didn't even have time yes. to do one last week. So I'm going to break down the nerdy science for you about thyroid. And you know, I think one of the most interesting things is that thyroid is one of the most undertreated, undiagnosed, stressful health conditions, I think, that affect and both all, men and women. And also, yep, and, probably, and also one of the most common. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. I had no idea how many people had thyroid issues. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> like I was telling you last show, same for me, like whenever I was competing and stuff, when I thought I was like the healthiest in my life, I was, I had thyroid issues. And you, it's like, what? What does that mean? Yeah. <laughs> <You know? clears throat> That's crazy. Well, one of the things we we're talking about with our guest, Sarah, who's very informed about supplements and things, just from her own journey, which is beautiful, because that's the whole reason that I do what I do, because I had a lot of health hormone issues, and I had to get outside the box and learn all this. But as you're learning that, and you learn what the underlying cause is, and you actually get to the bottom of what's causing this stuff, it's not like, wow, we just all woke up one day, and American had this thyroid epidemic. Mm -hmm. It was kind of the boiling the frog slow, you know, that analogy, you put the frog in the water and the tepid water and then you turn up the heat slowly and then it's boiling and it doesn't realize it. Who does that? Uh, so you've mean. never done that? I do that at least two or three times a week. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I never boil frog. Ew. <laughs> I do know people eat the frog legs, but. It's so sad to boil frog, but yes, I know what you mean. <clears throat> so um, can you kind of go over that again about how that process happened with um, well, we're an extremely iodine deficient society and you know, it's like our thyroid issues are probably just as common as our breast cancer rates, which are about one in eight now. Unbelievable. I mean, like if you know eight women, one of them probably has had or has breast cancer. And it's just ridiculous. And same thing with thyroid. If you know eight women, there's probably, you know, one in eight that has thyroid, significant thyroid issues. And, you know, a lot of people are walking around, they don't even know. A lot of doctors don't even test. And, you know, everybody kind of wants to say, well, that's just an excuse. If you're overweight or you're tired, and then people say, well, I want to make it about my thyroid. Or doctors are like, you just want to make it about your thyroid. Yeah, it is about your thyroid. <laughs> you know, yeah. by definition, if you're overweight and you're tired, you have a thyroid issue, mm -hmm. even if it's not clinically showing up on your blood work, mm -hmm. right? Or within the parameters that... Right we call normal right yeah well so at the same time yes you let's not make that an, an excuse because there is a way to help you balance your thyroid Absolutely. Right? Yeah. yeah so it's not an excuse it's not an excuse to stay that way or to you know or why you're unhealthy or why you're overweight or whatever and to just accept that it's like if that's the case then do something about yes, it. yes do something about it it's <laughs> exactly. not an excuse to just eat more cheeseburgers and lay around more right I'm my thyroid's off uh, you give me another cheeseburger <laughs> you know yeah. i actually had a lady one time it was like at some halloween bonfire and we're all standing around and um you know it's like funny because as soon as people find out what i do they want to start telling me their whole medical history yeah. <laughs> well this, it happens all the time it's hilarious this lady actually <laughs> didn't know what i did and i was just kind of one of the neighbors at this uh -huh. point you know one of the new neighbors <laughs> and probably just thinking i'm like just a housewife or something yeah. you know and she just starts so talking, unassuming <laughs> but she's talking about her thyroid and she's like yeah i finally got on the right thyroid medicine and um she was probably not being judgmental here but she was probably about just under five foot tall mm -hmm. so pretty significant short I always tell people when they're overweight you're not overweight you're under tall <laughs> but she was so I'll use that as, a, as an excuse if I'm ever uh, I'm just, that I'm just tall. under tall just under tall <clears throat> but she was um, you know probably about five foot tall and she probably weighed about just under 300 pounds so significantly oh. overweight yeah especially and, yeah especially for being that height <clears throat> yeah yeah and she was saying you know my doctor finally got me on the right thyroid and I'm like, oh, really? That's interesting. You know, how do you know? And she's like, because um, my numbers are finally correcting out. And I'm like, she just looked exhausted. And she's extremely overweight. And I'm like, because your numbers look okay? I'm like, you know, in what reality yeah. are what we What numbers? Buying? What about your scale? Yeah. What, <laughs> what about those numbers? 
And, and like um, the amount of hours in the day that you have the energy to even like walk. <laughs> right? And what about those numbers? Yeah, that's crazy. Just, yeah, and she was completely bought into her doctor telling her now that her numbers were okay and everything was good. So why, so why would her numbers be showing level? I'm going to do that on the blackboard. Segment. Oh, okay. So okay. I'm going to explain okay. how that happens. Because this makes me super curious now. And, you know, that <clears throat> that's going to be a bit of empowerment that you can actually, of course, you know, I'm happy to help too, but I can't see all the people in the world, right? So mm -hmm. if we can evangelize and we can share this information. It can empower you to go talk to your doctor. Um, part of the problem too, I will tell you that even when you understand what I'm going to share with you, there's so much resistance in the medical world because there's so much push push for pharmaceuticals. There's so much push for um, a pill for an ill, and doctors really don't want to take the time to slow down and understand this stuff. So um, you got your work cut out for you. So you're going to have to be your own advocate. You're going to have to take this information. And um, if you can't find someone like our team here that understand this, you're going to have to be really your own best advocate and really fight or what you need mm -hmm. yeah absolutely and I mean that's with anything really about your your health or your life that um, you know you got to be your biggest advocate for mm -hmm. anything you do but especially in this industry um, your health you know the one thing that we kind of or we need doctors and we need you know the help that we can get and things that we don't understand but it's like you know not just accepting right. an answer if, if you know that your body is not responding to whatever that answer is mm -hmm. so and I always say things happen for me, not to me, you know. And so every every opportunity that I've had to have, even as a traditional doctor, almost dying in the ICU, you know, having hysterectomy, female hormone problems, all of that just helped me understand more that, yes, the medical system is great when you need it, but it can also be your, your best ally and your worst, you know, foe. I mean, it can really uh, put you at great risk, too, especially if you're not empowered, educated, and, you know, as a healthcare consumer, know mm -hmm. what you're up against. And a lot of times I think there's just this mentality that, well, doctors are supposed to know, right? Just mm -hmm. They have trust. all the answers. They have yeah. all the answers. Um, you know, just recently you had a family member who was sick and you're like, and, you know, I, I'm sitting here feeding you information about, you know, what they need to do. And it's like you as a parent, as a family member, you know, with a sick family, like, like, who, who has their advocates, right? Who has, mm -hmm. like, everybody needs a friend or a, you know, a family member. Everyone that's... needs a friend who's a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> but actually gives a crap, you know, yeah. that actually knows what's going well, on. Well, right, and I just, the traditional that's world the thing is I trust, just, like, I trust you and I trust that you're through. not gonna, you're not gonna fluff me with a bunch of stuff. You're gonna give me, and also I want the, I want the real answers, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like, yes, it's my daughter we're talking about, but it's like, I wanna know, um, what do I need to do? You know mm -hmm. what I mean? What are the possibilities? You know, so I can make the best decision yeah. for what, you know, my next step is because, yeah, I mean, that's, you know, and then, and then also so that whenever they're going to, you know, whenever she, since she wasn't coming to see you, it's like, I need to be able to tell them what to tell that doctor to do. Exactly. <laughs> you know? yeah. 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 So you really do have to take that time and educate yourself. And so many times people think, well, you know, I'll just trust the insurance company. I'll just trust that everything's going to flow that way. And sometimes you do have to just go, wait a minute. Let's let's just slow down a little common sense here. Let's listen to your gut. Mm -hmm. You know, is my gut telling me about this situation? Does this feel right? And I think, you know, it's interesting. My mom, when I was a kid, she had rheumatoid arthritis. And I remember she felt, um, it was a small town. And, you know, the few doctors that she had, I, I she felt so, what would you call, um, controlled? Just oh. because she had a need, she was sick, mm. and she didn't want to upset Helpless. them. Helpless, yeah. yes. And she, she, you know, wasn't she wasn't seeking drugs or anything. She just needed her medication for her condition, mm -hmm. and it just felt so many times like um, emotionally they just held her hostage to her condition. Mm. And that's, I think that's part of my. Um, Motivation. My motivation mm -hmm. to not be just that, you know, to, to treat people like that. Right. And there's, I'm not knocking all of the medical profession, right. but there's so much of that out there that is just, you know, this God complex, this ego. They act like, you know, they have more power than they do. And it's your body. And I always tell people, if this doesn't feel right to you. Mm -hmm. Listen to your body. Yeah. Or if you're a mom or your family member. You know, it's okay to ask for another opinion. It's okay to ask around. You know, where I have so many patients who like almost 
um, sheepishly say, I checked the internet. I'm so sorry. I'm like, oh, MG. Yeah, please I'm do. Like, I want you to. Yeah. I want you to come informed. I want you to text me, call me, ask me those questions. Mm -hmm. Because that's how you get your power. Mm -hmm. And that's the people who are in those positions of power who try to control you because they don't want you to have your power. Well, and a lot of times it's probably because, you know, if you ask them questions about certain things they write, might read on WebMD or on the Internet that they don't have an, an answer, uh, that t they don't have an answer yeah. to that question, you know. like It's like, oh, you read everything on the Internet. You know, you, you're going to read all the worst of the, it's like, well, there are a lot of possibilities of all these things, but whenever you know, like if you, you can speak on the actual possibility of it or the actual, like, um, or probability of something like that happening, then you can explain that in a very clear way mm -hmm. and like, oh, well, this is why WebMD said that. It's not like it's just crazy out of, out of nowhere. Right. It's that if this happened like this and that and that and that, then that could happen, you know, but most people don't have the answers like that, like, like you study. Well, yeah, and I, I, and really for any doctor who has any kind of medical training or education should be able to say, yeah, go ahead and bring that information to me and I'll tell you whether I think it's a legitimate concern or not. Yes. End of discussion. It's not really about, hey, I'm afraid you're going to go become a hypochondriac and create all this, you know, yeah. negativity. Just, hey, bring it to me and I'll tell you whether it's a legitimate concern or not. It's mm -hmm. kind of like if you were to go get your car worked on at Walmart, you know, or your car lot or whatever yeah. and you were to say hey a friend of mine said it sounds like it could be a timing belt or something they're not going to be like oh my god i can't believe you were talking to other people about possibilities yeah. of going on the internet you went and to looking. another car play oh, you just, googled the sound your car was making how could you do how that how could you do that <laughs> you're paranoid <laughs> and yet people do that in medicine yeah all the time and it's just crazy so i would just say you know don't apologize for trying to understand or looking for your power yeah. and really that's all that's what we're about too is it's not just from a medical aspect it's on all levels finding your power not being pushed down and you know told to be quiet mm -hmm. or told to use, that by the rules. use that voice <clears throat> use that voice which is also another interesting thing and I know we got to go to break but um, you know, we always like to talk about the naked doctor the naked truth about health and lifestyle and wellness I think from a wellness lifestyle, emotional, spiritual standpoint. Think about this. Think about where the thyroid is located. So the thyroid is, yeah, I'm, I'm going to get you to put a little visual yeah. up for people, um, but it's a little butterfly shaped yep. endocrine gland that sits right here in your neck. And you think about like losing your voice. Mm -hmm. And then you think about how common thyroid disorders and conditions are and especially in women, mm -hmm. and who are the people like whose voices are suppressed? Whose is, voices mm -hmm. are suppressed the most? So, from a spiritual alignment yeah. standpoint, it's all relevant. Yeah. So, anyway, okay, we're gonna take a little break, and we'll be right back with the naked doctor. I have osteoarthritis, and you know the arthritis medication that you get regularly will cause your kidney function to go down, and my kidney function had started going down, and so I knew I needed to do something different. I've been seeing Dr. Tammy for about three months, and she's been doing stem cells in my knees, and it's like a miracle. She absolutely hits it every time in the correct spot, and I am pain-free now, and I haven't been pain-free for about 10 years. I can go upstairs without pain. It's wonderful. And I send everybody I know to, to her because she's done such a wonderful job for me and I just appreciate it so much. Hi, welcome back to Naked Doctor. We have a great show today. We're talking about thyroid and we really want to empower especially women, there are men have thyroid issues too, but we really want to empower you to have your voice about mm -hmm. thyroid. And we were just talking about the connection you're talking about singing. Yeah, yeah so, so, you know, now that I'm, I'm um, doing this, uh, you know, well, I'm learning how to sing and stuff. And so I like, I like to understand like the way that the vocal cords work and, and how all that operates. So I was just reading something actually yesterday and it was, <clears throat> it was talking about the two glands that, um, that are, responsible for um, making your vocal cords move the way they move. And one of them was the 
thyroid cartilage is connected what is it that, what is it the thyroid it's ar- the cricothyroid it's basically that cartilage so that holds it all together but the it's cricothi- connected what was the other one called the thyroid i really uh, no thyroid but it's all those little tendons and ligaments attached to the yeah so what, stuff one there. of them was talking about like the, you know it, it makes your voice um you know it, it's what pushes them together and then the other one is what stretches them apart so mm-hmm. It was just an interesting thing. I was like, "Oh my gosh, thyroid!" And like, Bleh. makes all those beautiful musical yeah. tones, and it's all the the, the blending. Yeah, uh-huh. and yeah, because and also like you were, um, you know, as far as like it being a butterfly, you talk about it on a spiritual level. It's like the cocoon becoming the butterfly. You yep. know, it's like when your thyroid is on, you know, intact, and it's that beautiful butterfly in throat right there. Mm-hmm. So you should Google it. Google thyroid and pictures, and it's yeah, it's glorious. It's also gorgeous. Yeah, yeah. good stuff. So, okay, we're going to jump to our Blackboard segment. I'm going to break it down for you, the science, the science that you need to empower yourself mm-hmm. if you're going to try to navigate that world and get the help that you need. Yeah, so it's like she was talking about earlier with the, how the levels, it's not about, um, well, you're going to explain that because I'm, I'm mm-hmm. super curious now, but uh, yeah, about how it's not just about the numbers being level or whatever. It's, it's you know, it's you, have, you have a weight issue on some level, you have a thyroid issue, right? And you're... There's a way to way to get fixed, and this lady knows what she's talking about. Absolutely, so that's gonna be fun. We'll be right back. Hi, welcome back to the Naked Doctor, the chalkboard segment. I'm going to be talking about thyroid and what you need to know and how you can empower yourself. So one of the interesting things about thyroid is it's a little butter sh- butterfly-shaped gland that sits in your neck. And I like to just kind of draw my people out like this when I'm trying to explain what's going on. So here's you kind of waving high. I don't know, they're not the best art right here. But here's the little person. So up here in the head is this gland called the pituitary. And then in the neck is this little butterfly shaped gland called the thyroid. Now what's interesting about that is your whole endocrine system talks to each other. So the pituitary creates a hormone called TSH and your thyroid creates a hormone called T4, which then gets converted into T3. And this is significant. I know this is a lot of techie information, but this is significant because one of the things that happens is a lot of doctors just check something called a TSH, thyroid stimulating hormone. And it doesn't say anything about the functioning of the thyroid hormone from the gland itself. It's just a feedback hormone that says whether things are working properly or maybe they're not. But it's kind of like when I was an x-ray tech before I went to med school. If we did an x-ray from one angle, you could miss a fracture from another angle. So you have to have a whole panel of blood work to really see what's going on. So in the actual thyroid gland, what happens is T4 is a thyroid hormone that's made and the molecule has four iodine molecules on it. And so that's significant because we kind of hinted to that a little bit. The underlying cause of most thyroid issues is a nutritional deficiency in Iodine and iodine is very critical for thyroid functioning. Iodine is also critical for your immune system, for your metabolism. So, anything related to your immune system, anything related to weight gain, not sleeping well, fatigue, if you're sick a lot, or if you feel tired and run down, anything with your gastrointestinal system, it kind of with your metabolism will speed things up. If you have constipation, anything that needs metabolism for growth, like hair or nails, is thyroid dependent and iodine dependent as well. So it's been estimated that people in Japan who have no iodine deficiency because of the seaweed and the kelp, they have almost no fibrocystic breast disease, no breast cancer, no thyroid disease. It's amazing. And we have extreme rates of thyroid disease and breast disease in our country. And it's mostly because of this iodine deficiency. So what happens is the thyroid gland actually through an enzymatic process, there's actually an enzyme here called peroxidase. This enzyme pulls one of these iodine molecules off and makes this thyroid uh, T3 because it has three iodine molecules on it. So it pulls one of those off and actually makes this active form. And this active form is very critical to your metabolism, to your hair, your sleep, your every process that happens in your body basically. 
So what happens is there is a synthetic pharmaceutical version of thyroid medication called Synthroid. And it's synthetic thyroid, that's what it stands for. And Synthroid in itself is not bad, it's actually T4. But the problem is that will feed back with the TSH and the doctor will check a TSH and say, oh, your levels are fine. So when I talked about the lady who said that her doctor said her thyroid was functioning, her medication was working properly, that her thyroid was functioning properly, it was because all they did was give her T4, which was feeding back with the TSH, and it looked like it was working, but it wasn't actually converting to this active form. And that's the critical thing right there. So one of the beautiful things that I like to do in my practice is to use a form of thyroid we call natural thyroid. There's different forms, MP, WP thyroid, armor thyroid, but basically it's a desiccated animal thyroid that's kind of chopped up and it is a combination of both T4 and T3. So you get the active form and you get this. So it will feed back with the TSH. It will tell you, hey, the numbers are looking good. Everything's communicating fine, but you actually get this active form. One of the interesting things about that is that the pharmaceutical companies want to use these synthetic, more expensive versions. And so people are on this and they really don't feel better than if they had the preparation that had the T4 and T3. If you've had thyroid cancer, if you've had your thyroid radiated or removed, the desiccated thyroid, animal thyroid, also has uh, other thyroid hormones like T1, T2, as well as T3 and T4, and a hormone called calcitonin, which the thyroid makes, which actually puts bone, calcium into your bone to keep you from getting hip fractures. And I'll tell you that that's one of the biggest problems that we see with our elderly population besides other hormone balances with estrogen and progesterone and testosterone is that we see bone density issues and that will take you out of the game. If you break a hip and you end up losing your independence, you're not able to drive, so I'm not trying to scare you, but calcitonin is very important and that's one of the beautiful things about using those natural forms of those different thyroid preparations. So one of the other things that I'd also like to point out is it's always what's the question before the question? What's the why? Why do people's thyroid start being affected? So there's a couple things and one is this enzyme right here that does this active conversion is affected by your digestion, which everything kind of goes back to the gut. We'll do a whole show just on leaky gut sometime if, if we haven't already. But fixing your digestion and going back and helping people learn to eat properly, uh, decreasing inflammatory foods like gluten and things like that out of their diet can be very critical. And gluten itself, I know everybody talks about gluten, there's a lot of hype about gluten, but gluten itself can actually block this enzyme that allows your thyroid to convert actively. So I like to do the testing to see if you are gluten sensitive, because why give it up if you don't need to? But gluten is huge with this process. So if you want to heal the thyroid, if you want to heal the autoimmune, immune process, you have to go with a more holistic approach. Otherwise, you will have to take medicine the rest of your life. And a lot of doctors do tell their patients, yeah, you're gonna have to take thyroid the rest of your life. And it is just simply not true. You can actually heal this, which is a beautiful thing. But knowledge is power and you have to understand this and you have to understand how this works. So the thyroid is critical for every process in the body. And this active form, this T3, is where it's all at and what you need. So iodine supplementation is very important. Adequate lab testing is very important and having somebody who understands this process who can help you through this and help heal your thyroid from the inside out. Hope you enjoyed this great little chalkboard segment for you. Knowledge is power again, and I know this was a lot, but I think it'll be so helpful for you to be empowered to really know what you need and know what you need to ask for. We'll be right back with The Naked Doctor. A few months ago, I went to Dr. Tammy with some foot pain. Uh, I had inflammation on the tendons. Uh, she recommended PRP, and uh, we tried it. Uh, a week later, I had no pain. Till now, I've had no no residual pain. Uh, I think it worked very well. At Christmas time, um, I went in and I saw her, and we did a stem cell PRP, and in my hip and my shoulder, and it was like a week later, it was. Uh, I felt so good. Um, I wasn't able to sleep with my arm up or anything because it hurt so bad to put my hand behind my arm and the joint pain is all gone in both areas. After using Dr. Tammy's services, I've been extremely pleased. I have nothing but good things to say about her and I will continue using her in the future.
I recommend if you're just feeling old, tired, and the daily grind is getting you down, just go see her, she's life changing. So welcome back to the Naked Doctor. We've had a great show for you today. All things thyroid, thyroid part two. I learned so much. Yes, broke down some nerdy science. Want to empower you, want to empower you to have your voice, find your voice, it's all connected. That's where your voice comes from, mm -hmm. from the thyroid and the neck. And uh, we are just a extremely nutritionally deficient society. And thyroid's one of the first thing in our hormone system to go and hormones control everything. So mm -hmm. um, check it out. Yep. Yeah. And and here at the Healing Arts Center, that's something that, um, you know, she's very good with the the uh, hormone balancing aspect of that. And then just in general, uh, finding your voice and empowering you to do that on all levels. <laughs> is, is, that's your gift. <laughs> I love that. It's something that we are, you know, we believe in, tr truly believe in. And um, so, yeah, come check us out. Absolutely. Call us, go to our website, yeah. make an appointment, come talk to us. We'd love to have you in here. Mm -hmm. Uh, websites <laughs> healingartcenters.com mm -hmm. our Facebook page the naked doctor mm -hmm. we're on Instagram now YouTube so yep. YouTube all sorts of places you can find us all sorts of old videos I did Facebook lives every day for like a year and a half so tons of thyroid stuff out there learn as much as you can there's a lot of great resources inbox us let us know yeah if you have any we questions <clears throat> if you have any questions or um, would like for us to talk about anything in particular on the show um, or if you'd like us to come out to your location and Absolutely. and mm -hmm. I mean we are all about getting out on the town and uh, you know talking about what people do around here and um, helping people so um, yeah just, just send us a message or call us and we'll we'll make that happen oh and as we speak I want to make a little announcement they are um, working on setting up lights in our art studio here at the Healing Arts Center we have um, amazing oil artist um, who's going to be she, teaching classes here. She's amazing. We should pull her in and make her say hi. But <laughs> we'll, we'll pull her on and maybe next yeah, week's yeah, show. Yeah, we will. We'll have a whole show about art and art therapy, which is beautiful. Monday um, nights, we're having classes Monday at Monday nights at 6.30, so mm -hmm. let us know. I mean, it's an amazing outlet. Even if you, people always say, I can't even draw a stick figure. You're the perfect person. I can't even us. write legibly, and you should see what I learned how to paint. Yeah, that's so right. You'll have to, you'll have to, some oh yeah okay so it's coming up right now yep that right there, there, there it is. <laughs> awesome. you're so talented with all this stuff. um and then a lot of stuff coming up with oklahoma with the cannabis stuff so we're gonna have some shows coming up about that very exciting opportunities for um cannabis as medicine and certifications in arkansas and oklahoma so cool stuff stay tuned um follow us and uh don't want to miss all the cool stuff we got going on yep we'll all see right. you next week thanks Love for watching you. we'll see you next week